We are back with a new e-bike by PVY. Check out my first review right here about the PVY Z20 Pro. And as I said in this video, I love this brand because PVY is into the power and speed unlock shenanigans, which let's be honest, everyone wants to do. And they make it easy for us and that is so dope. But shh, just don't tell anyone, just enjoy. And especially with something like this back here, my guys, this right here, this is the PVY Z20 Plus 1000. An absolute monster. Currently it is fully street legal, 25 kph and 250 watts of motor power. All that good stuff, but with just a few clicks, we can release all the power. We can unlock full speed, which is quite mind melting. And we're also talking 1000 watts of power, 100 newton meters of torque and a top speed of around 50 kph. So let's have fun. Got the new drip from PVY, the Z20 Plus 1000. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will listen, link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. So that's the box. It's quite large, but it is manageable thanks to the carrying handles on the sides. Let me show you. So that's the front, obviously. That's the side Z20 Plus 1000. Nice carrying handles. And here we have all the small print, all the specs and data. Same on the other side, as you can see right here. So let's open it up. Box with the accessories. Safety jacket. And yeah, that's it. Let's pull it out. Oh, it's lighter than expected. Oh, there we go. That was easy. Okay, so let's remove the box. Ah, in here we also have the manual and also the saddle. As you can see, it's very well protected. Now let's remove all of that. All right, there we go. Let me also insert this part right here. Open up the lever. And it's just a quick win right there. Kickstand. There we go, perfect. So, and before we can get to the setup, let's of course check out the accessories and the manual. So here we go. First of all, we have the saddle. Really nice, soft and large saddle. Saddle suspension right here. And when we loosen up this screw right here, we can also move it forwards or backwards. And yeah, that's the thing right here. With the rod, let's insert it right away. Another quick win, nice. Then we have one of the mud guards and as you can see, the paint job is quite spectacular. Look at that, nice, bright and shiny. That's the inside right here and the mounting bracket. That's for the front wheel, by the way. The back mud guard is already installed, super handy. Then again, we have this, this safety jacket right here. You don't want to break the sound barrier without it. <laughs> then we have this also for the mud guard. And of course the box with all the tools and the brick, the charging brick. So let's open it up as well. And there we go. Sweet, we also get a phone mount. Love to see that. Okay, let's mount the adhesive, put it on there. So check it out, there we go. Nice phone mount, right on. Then we will also get a cable for the brick. Talking about the brick, it's right here. Oh, that's a big one. Powerful brick, status LED on the front. And here we have the back with all the specs and stats and features. Lovely. Powerful brick. Then here we have the rest of the parts for the phone mount. We will also get a nice tool set, multi-tool right here. Then in here, we will get the board computer, the motor controller. More tools, more screws for the mud guards, of course. And lastly, the pedals. That's what they look like. Nice, sturdy, heavy pedals. And of course, not to forget the manual Manual, great detailed manual. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is important for the board computer settings. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and the last page. And there we have it. So to recap the jacket, the brick, the board computer, all sorts of tools and screws, the phone mount and the pedals, of course. All right, let's put it all together. It's super straightforward as always. So let's get right to it. Pedal super easy, saddle super easy. Handlebar, you need to screw this really tight. Mudguard, straightforward, easy. And inserting the wheel, also quite easy. And this is a strong mudguard right there. Love it, hardcore. So as you can see, straight out of the box, super smooth. And these brakes are extremely powerful. Great stopping power to say the least. And this will need setup. Even the reflectors are pre-installed. That's awesome. They make it so easy for you. And lastly, let's get this caliper perfect. It's also extremely easy. Just screw it open, press the brake, screw it tight again, done. And as you can see, this is completely silent. Wow, this is great. This is great. And again, 
super strong brakes in the front and in the back. We can lock the suspension, amazing. Done with the unboxing and with the setup. And now let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview. As you can see, it's looking spectacular. That's a great paint job. It's definitely on the shiny end and quite flashy. As you saw, it basically came halfway assembled already. The complete back was done and installing the rest was simple and straightforward. And this is a hardcore bike. The frame is super solid as well as the mud guards. This is a monster build, sturdy. And what I love to see is the double suspension. This is a fully suspension in the front and also in the back. The front one can easily be locked and check it out. Front suspension, really nice. And in the back, <laughs> quite bouncy. All right, let's take a close look. So here we have it. As you can see, I'm currently charging it. So we have the charge port right here rubber flap to close it down, make it water resistant. And then also down here we have the key. This is for activating the battery. So if you want to use it, pop it in, turn it, and now it's active. But yeah, let's get to the front wheel. So here we have it. That's this side. We can see the reflector quite clearly. We can see the mud guard and also the front fork suspension, front light right there. Here we have the locking mechanism for the suspension. Now it's locked. Now it's unlocked, super easy and fast. Really cool looking wheels. This is the profile right here. Here on the other side of the front wheel, we of course have the brake. We have the caliper and the disc. Great stopping power. This brake is working phenomenally. Moving upwards, we of course have the cable tree. As you can see, everything is nicely organized. Great cable management. It's looking amazing. Not to forget, we have the branding in the front and the folding mechanism for the steering bar. You can also adjust the steering bar height-wise right here. And with this one underneath the display, you can also also rotate it basically. Moving along, the body, the frame is quite thick and stable. We can consider this as some sort of a handle for grabbing it. It's actually quite comfortable because this downside is rounded, great for carrying. And we have the branding, nice letters, great font, looks amazing, nice details. Then we have the folding mechanism for the frame right here. And that's a really nice one. We'll get to that as well. Then we have the pedals and the chain. As you can see, it's running inside of this protective structure, which is amazing. Cable management through the frame. Then here in the back, we have the back suspension, a really nice and thick, sturdy rear rack. And then of course the back wheel with the mud guard and the super strong motor. And on this side, we have the gear shifters and the gears looking amazing. We have the backlight right here, rear rack from the top and look how thick this is. Super solid. We have the saddle again, huge comfortable saddle, back wheel from the other side, caliper, disc, smart drive, power, also the pedals sounding nice and the rest when you folded it up, always good to have. And of course the kickstand pre-installed and lastly of course the handlebar with the left brake, the grips, nice rubber, feels great in the hand, blinker, light, horn, board computer and the other brake and of course the throttle right there. So let's turn it on, press and hold until it will activate basically. So first of all, we have pedal assist from zero to three. We can change this number. When we press the M button, we will switch from auto to distance to time, voltage and cur and this. When we press and hold the up button, we can activate the light. And when we press and hold the down button, we can activate the walking assist. 6 kph. Then again right here we have the light, basically a dedicated hardware button for the light, for the horn and for the blinkers, but we don't have these lights installed. On pedal assist zero the throttle is inactive on one. It's on the lowest setting and on the highest pedal assist it's on the highest setting. And that means the throttle will also correspond to the pedal assist mode. We're currently limited to 25 kph and to unlock the full power and the full speed we need to access the menu and for this we need to press and hold the up and down arrow simultaneously. And now this is the menu right here. With the M button we can cycle through the programs. We have 20 in total and with the up and down arrow we can cycle through the settings. The first one is a backlight. Second one you can select the units. P3 voltage level setting. This will correspond to the battery display right here. P4 is automatic shutdown. We can set the minutes. When it's on zero it means it will never go to sleep but let's set it to 15 maybe. And here you can set the pedal assist gears and also one and zero. So with nine we have nine levels. So three is actually 
fine. P6 is the wheel diameter. This is important for the correct speed. When you mess with this, you will get a wrong speed. P7 is a motor setting. And now that's the interesting part, P8, because that's the limit, the KPH limit, or like the speed limit actually, depending on the unit. So if we go all the way up to 50, we can go even higher, then we basically have unlocked the max speed. P9, we have zero start and non-zero. On zero, it is a zero start, so you can start while standing. This is always handy to have, in my opinion, talking about the throttle, of course. Then we have the drive mode setting. When it's on zero, we only have power drive. On one, we have electric drive. When it's on two, basically we have the pedal assist and also the throttle. With this, we can deactivate the throttle if it's prohibited in your country or in your state. P11 is the sensitivity from one to 24. P12 is the starting torque. And with this, we can unlock the motor power. So from zero all the way to five, that's the strongest. So let's go. <laughs> this is also a motor setting. There's a current limit. Here we can reset the odometer. Here we can disable or enable the cruise mode. It's currently deactivated. Here we can also adjust the display speed. We can adjust it from 50 all the way to 150%. Zero including file, one not including file. And lastly, we have the one key recovery function. And that's about it. So once again, we have a number eight for the speed limit and number 12 for the torque. But actually, let's set it to three because otherwise it's just a starting torque actually. That should be crazy enough. 1000 watts, my goodness. Not bad, right? So let's finally test it. So here we go. Carrying it down the stairs was no problem thanks to this handle right here. And starting torque on three is already quite crazy. This thing has power. And since we have a proper gear shifter, let's actually start on pedal assist zero. And let's see if I can also use this without any power at all. And there we go. Easy as that. Up the slope. No problem. And let's see how fast we can go without any power at all. Second gear. By the way, the tires are inflated to 1.4 bars. Third gear. Fourth gear. A good 18 kph without pretty much any effort. That's quite chill cruising right there. Oh, the brakes are so nice. And now with a bit of effort. Not too bad, not too bad, so yeah. Great to have those gears, but actually they're not needed. <laughs> so let's switch it up to pedal assist one. Oh, and we are of course speed unlocked. So, oh my goodness, stage one will already be quite fast. So yeah, 25 on one, on two. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I need to switch it up. Had to grab my 360 because this is already getting proper fast. And with just one hand, it's kind of sketchy. The max speed, depending on the charge level, of course, is a good 50 kph. I'm not fully charged, so it's not reaching the full speed. But yeah, this thing is fast. So <laughs> let's go. I'm on the max pedal assist. And now check this out. Throttle is kicking hard. And now let's go! Brakes are so nice and the thing is going fast. This is like a, a motorcycle, no kidding. Took that speed bump like a champ. No problem whatsoever. Brakes. Powerful brakes. And let's keep going. Okay, ready for a bit of off-roading. Let's go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and up the hill. Yo, of course, that's no problem at all for a thousand watt motor. And also as you saw the grass, no issues whatsoever. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, last time I was here, I had a little accident. So yeah, that's enough. <laughs> That's enough. Oh my god, it's getting so fast, so quickly. Tall grass, no problem. I love this bike, it's crazy. Yo. Oh, let's go there. Let's go through here. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, this is too much fun. Are you kidding me? This is crazy. And all of that with just the thumb throttle. Absolute 10 out of 10. So lastly, let's go for a bit of handheld action. I love this bike. Yo. Inclines like these, not even worth mentioning this bike is just way too overpowered. And it's super stable too. I mean, no wonder, huge wheels. Free-handed riding is no problem at all, but the cruise mode would be epic for that, of course. But yeah. And it looks amazing as well. This bike is looking dope. And for the last trick. It is of course folding time. As you can see, this is a properly sized bike, but thanks to the folding capabilities, check this out. And the folding mechanism is actually really nice. And here we can see the handle. As you can see, it's on the heavy side, but it's not that heavy. Quite surprising for this massive form factor. So yeah. This is a nice folding mechanism right there. It's not preloaded or tensioned so that it's impossible to open. It's, it's perfect. And this way, we can just fold it in half. There we go. And now we can grab it like that. And check this out. Right there. Here we have it all folded up super tiny and compact and just like that we can fit it into any car quite easily look how small it is now great mechanism it's easy and fast and unfolding it of course just like that let me turn it around once again so open it up boom and this one as well boom safety clip perfect Steering bar can be adjusted, saddle of course can also be adjusted in height. So yeah, I love it. Clear 10 out of 10 from my side. Massive thumbs up. So as you saw, power, power, power. It looks hard, it goes hard. Man, amazing. And when you want to play it safe, you can do that as well. It's the best. Switching between street legal and full power is just lovely. PBY for the win, I applaud this company. Other than that, we have a sturdy aluminum alloy frame painted in this flashy green color. Great build quality all in all and a nice rear rack. This thing fits the bike. It's just powerful. Great suspension too in the front, in the back. You can take this bike off-roading without any issues. This is definitely a multi-purpose bike to say the least. Also great hydraulic brakes, immense stopping power, huge battery and a range of up to 120 kilometers. Nice display, seven gears, amazing specs and features, especially for the price point. It's just incredible if you ask me. And this color pops, definitely trippy. Check out the product links in the description if you're interested. I will listen link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.